Hey guys, so finally NEET PG 2021 is over and NEET PG 2022 is not so far and we need to keep hustling. Especially the new batch who are preparing for NEET PG 2022. So as I said that I'll be doing a mini web series on the right track to NEET PG 2022 of which the first video and the first episode is about the full-fledged complete dissection and plan on how to complete the video classes. If you haven't watched that video, then the link to that video is placed in the description. Go watch it and plan accordingly. And it's never late to start your preparation when you have a perfect plan. And here we are into the second episode about the marrow and e gurukul nodes. In the first episode, I have dissected the marrow video classes plan. But many of you have asked about the other apps also. That is the reason I have come up with this comparison video about marrow and e gurukul nodes, which are most used study platforms for neat PC preparation. So in this video, I'll be first unboxing the e gurukul and marrow nodes. Then I'll be looking into the features of the materials. And also I'll be giving the complete review and also on how to utilize this marrow nodes and also e Google nodes during your neat pg preparation but before all that did you subscribe to my channel dr jtm if not first click that subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you won't miss any notification with no delay let's start the review hey guys this is dr jt general medicine resident and a part-time youtuber and i welcome you to my channel dr jtm so firstly let me tell you something very important this is not at all a promotional video i'll be giving a complete review about the marrow and agricultural nodes what are the pros what are the cons what's good in them and what's bad in them so no hard feelings to marrow and agricultural this is just a video to help the pc aspirants to choose the best nodes so PG aspirants, if you are preparing for NEET PG 2022, then definitely this video will be helping your preparation. So do watch it till the end and let's start the unboxing first. Unboxing Marrow Nodes The packaging is pretty heavy. It feels good when you unbox something. This YouTube made me feel that way. And on opening the box, there are goodies. We will see them later. All the 19 subject books are packed in a single box. You can see all the subjects one by one. Let me get all the books out so that I can briefly talk about it. Finally, all the books are out. And there is a letter, a keychain and few Marvel stickers and also bookmarks. These books looked really cool, mainly outer cover designs. Look at them giving me nostalgia about my preparation days. This is all to show you subject books and overview. Pretty looking cool stickers, a letter telling things about the books and about the marrow. And finally, the good looking marrow key chain. Now the unboxing of e Gurkul nodes. Very heavy packages were sent. Not just one, but two packages. Nineteen subject books are packed compact. Taking them out one by one to show you, so we could talk about it later. There are also some goodies given by e Gurkul, but quite different from Maru. So that's 2.0 notes all at one place. These books too look colorful outside. Each subject depicted their own logos on their covers. Here is my love medicine book. Those are all the books of neat subjects Agair from Agar Kul. There is also a letter from the CEO, two markers and one sticky notes pad. Getting goodies feels great. So that's all about unboxing. So that's about the unboxing and what's inside the box. Now is the time for a complete review in which I'll be talking about the five aspects comparing both marrow and e Google notes, which includes about the packaging, the quantity of books and the quality of the books at 
and how is the matter inside the notes and about the pricing and also what better they could have done for these notes. And the first aspect is packaging. Matter notes packaging is pretty good and neat and no crumpled or damaged goods. And the blue box look really cool with the branded taglines on them. When it comes to eager cool notes, the packaging is not at all good. It's kind of broke you crumpled notes. I don't know whether everyone are receiving the same way, but it again depends on the courier services. And they also had their branded taglines with some cartoons. So, so let us move on to the second aspect, quantity. This is really a very key point in PG preparation because every PG aspirant should know how many books they need to study and how big books they need to study. And every PG aspirant will have the same amount of time in the PG preparation, which is very less time. Keeping that point in the mind, every coaching institute and also study app should provide a crisp and simplified notes which is quantitative enough to study and also grab as much as knowledge possible. So taking that point into consideration, I have compared Marrow and e notes from anatomy to forensic. So in Marrow, the anatomy, microbiology and pharmacology are high in quantity but they are required so, whereas other subjects are quite good enough and I think that much is enough. But in e-gurupal, anatomy, pathology and forensic medicine are high quantity and the rest of the books are good enough in quantity. Wait, did they say forensic medicine high quantity? Yes, they have provided forensic medicine in two volumes. But for this short subject, two volumes are needed? Maybe, I don't know. That we'll see in the quality check which is next segment. But before that, let us see the third year and final year notes quantity. So in marrow from here, SPM, two volumes, medicine, two volumes, surgery, two volumes. And these are high in quantity, but they are needed. Whereas the rest of the subjects are pretty compact and sufficient enough to study. In e Gurkul from here, ophthalmology, two volumes, medicine, two authors, three volumes each, total six volumes, and surgery, two volumes. And also the rest of the books are also pretty big and high in quantity. So it is very clear both third year and final year subjects the e Gurkul notes is high in quantity. But why? Even for short subjects, notes in e Gurkul is pretty high in quantity and pretty big. Did they put everything from A to Z into that notes or did Marum is few topics? Answer to these questions will be in the next segment, the quality. So let us move on to the third aspect, the quality check. So here we'll be talking from the paper quality to the quality of the stuff that is present inside the notes. So in Marrow, the paper quality is too good, readable content, colors used are pleasant and from printing to binding, everything looks good. But in e Gurkul, the paper quality is okay, quite dull, readable content and the colors used are pretty good and printing has to be improved and also uh, the binding part is okay. Presentation of the matter in the notes. First of all, we need to appreciate both Marrow and e Gurkul for providing the handwritten notes for PG aspirants because it makes them feel that it's their own notes. When it comes to presentation in Marrow, it looks sharp, clean and with proper spacing. They have put boxes and flowcharts wherever required. When it comes to the presentation in e Gurkul, it's bold and colorful but clumsy in few subjects because they have put lot of matter in a single page in few subjects and in few subjects the matter is very small fonts which is difficult to read. But the main asset of this e Gurkul notes is the color coding system in which they have used it for highlighting few points and also topics which actually makes students to read the topic more cautiously. And I think this is a drawback for Marrow because there is no highlighting of points or topics or any specific color coding. Maybe they want students to do that. Image quality of the notes. When it comes to the image quality, both e Gurkul and Marrow haven't done well, but to some extent, when it comes to the quality of matter in the notes, not everything is present in the notes. Few topics will be covered in Marrow master classes. That is a straightforward warning placed in Marrow notes by Marrow. That means they have left few spaces empty in the notes which you have to fill while watching the video classes. That means if you want to utilize this Marrow notes, you should have Marrow video class plan, otherwise no point. But to some extent, it is quite a good point because if you want to watch video classes along with these notes, you cannot watch them like uh, you are watching a, a movie. So you need to involve in that. In that case, this is a good point. But if that is the point, why can't you make notes for all the video classes by your own without this material? That's what I have said in my Marrow video classes plan. Having your own notes is always the best. But these notes will actually save some time for you. When it comes to e Gurkul, A to Z, everything is put in these notes. That means you need not write any extra points in these notes. It means if students wants to buy these notes without video classes, definitely they can go for it because they can really understand the matter without any video class, video lectures. But putting everything A to Z in these notes made these notes such a such a high content of such these big books even for the short subjects. I don't think so because even Marrow has left few spaces to write. Even then, the size of the book will be the same and the content will be the same. 
till this short and crisp way but content wise both of the materials are exact simulation of the video classes but at this point i really want to appreciate eGurupu because at some concepts they have really explained well in the notes uh, in a short and crisp form but what happened with the marrow is everything the word to word sentence to sentence exact simulation of the video class that means if the video classes are good then definitely the notes will be good common features i have found from both of them is that they have given time stamps which is really helpful and time saving if you really have any doubt in the notes at a particular point then definitely you can find that time stamp and look into the video classes and both of the notes have given some active space the blank pages where you can really write some extra stuff where you have found from the mcqs or from the grand test or four out of five stars let's move on to the next aspect that is pricing this is really very important for any student who wants to buy these notes mara have priced their notes for 19 subjects seven thousand rupees whereas e google have priced their 19 subjects notes for 14,700 rupees this is quite overpriced for what they are providing but you know uh, 10k would be more reasonable if they uh, for the high content they are providing 7,000 for marrow is decent but you know marrow it's a marketing thing if you want to utilize these notes 100 percent then definitely you need to have uh, their video plan which is quite uh, uh, costly but in e google <laughs> it is direct marketing high price you go for it you buy it so what better could this both Maro and Egurkul could have done with regards to the notes? With Maro, the explanation is too blank. They explain it from uh, straight point to point. Uh, I would suggest they put more amount of images and explain the topic as image centric way as Egurkul have done. They have placed some uh, they have placed some excellent handwritten diagrams and also some uh, images as center and explain the topic really well, which is really suggested for a student because they could retain that photogenic memory well. Uh, whereas when it comes to Egurkul, uh, in some subjects you need to uh, explain the things in much more crisp and simplified way that is in some subjects they need to improve the printing of images and my overall point is that both marrow and uh, ego to have their own pros and cons but content wise they really haven't compromised in any aspect uh, so in that particular manner uh, i would say one word for marrow is time saving and one word for e google is all in one consider important thing that how you can utilize these materials while watching the video classes as i have already told you that i have released a video classes plan which the link i have placed in the description go watch that first then this video will really help you with the flow of your preparation so first question every student asks me is that are these materials mandatory to buy uh, I would say no, uh, these, these notes or materials are not mandatory at all. If you are able to make your own notes from the video lectures, then go for it. That is the best method. If you are unable to uh, make the notes from the video classes that you watch, then definitely go for it. But even then you need to have your own notes, which is most preferable. Way. So next question most commonly asked is how you could use these notes from the beginning of your preparation. This is a very important point that you need to listen. Whenever you uh, complete a video class of a topic or a subject in the uh, in the same week you need to start reading these notes in the same way you need to uh, simultaneously work with these notes and also mcq bank if you have completed studying these notes in that same day or in the same uh, week regarding the topic or the subject then definitely you have to go and practice the mcqs that is how you actually complete your first reading with effective way and in a confident way and in a perfect way and the next question are these notes really enough to crack neat pc seat yes i would say these are notes are really enough to crack your neat pc seat but you need to work these notes along with the mcq band then the grand test then subject wise test and align all the points that you haven't known or any new concept into these notes and make it as one material for one subject that will only really give you some uh, good rank and also the branch you needed and the fourth question this question is asked by many of the UZ MBBS students. Are these study materials and notes are enough for UZ MBBS theory exams? I say no, no and no because these are contemplated in such a way that these are useful only for PG preparation. For UZ MBBS theory examination, uh, the pattern is different, how you approach is different. Uh, I will talk that in another video. But for this video, that's it. This is out and out complete review on how you can utilize them. And I think many of you have got clarity whether to take these notes and uh, how you can utilize these notes. And now you'll ask on comparison of uh, prep letter notes with TAMS notes or prep letter notes with MARO notes. I would definitely do that. But for that, you need to subscribe to my channel and also like this video because uh, all my energy is your you the subscribers who subscribe and support always so do subscribe to my channel dr jtm and with all the love i'll be back with another great video till then bye see you again